Hey, come down here now! I'm not gonna kill you! All I want is for you to leave this gear and... What? Huh? Hey. You're not an Avest soldier. It's almost like he was screaming that at you! I told you that in my intercom transmission earlier. You're the one who refused to listen to me, right? Ha! <laughs> ha! Uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Yes, I remember you saying something like that. I went off half-cocked and thought you were the enemy. Uh, <clears throat> my name's Bart. I'm the pirate that works this territory. My name is Faye. I was arrested for no apparent reason, shoved into that vet transport ship. And nearly was going to be sent to a concentration camp. Until you went and blew the thing to blazes. Anyway, I'm just glad to have been able to survive. I see. Well, I'm glad I at least helped you out a little. But I didn't expect a civilian like you would be riding in a military gear. Besides, this gear is a brand new model. I've never seen this type before. Let's just say that a lot of things have happened. It wasn't like I wanted to pilot it. Where are we anyway? Looks like we fell into one weird place. I've never heard any of that huge stalactite cave such as this existing under the desert before. What? You don't know anything, do you? Where are you from? The desert only covers about a, a thousand shawls of the outer layer of the earth. The stratum underneath it consists of igneous rock. From a sea of trees to a sea of sand, and now a stalactite cave. What's next? Well, obviously a sewer level. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Never mind. We're in trouble. Look, the hole we fell through has disappeared. We better find some other way out. So, you want to call a truce for now? At least until we find an exit and get out of here? Yeah, agreed. First, we gotta find the way out of here. So let's get going. Okay, so this actually starts up our first actual kind of dungeon area. Mm. And it's a mech-based one, so that's gonna be even better. Oh, thank God I didn't want to dry up and die in the desert. Why'd you take that one? Hey, you. I know you're tired, but don't go any further than there. Shut up! You sunk our ship! Don't you forget that! No, you shut up. Just be thankful that you were saved. Uh, excuse me. Uh, is there anyone who is almost dead, with no arms and legs, or in need of an abdominal operational operation? No one? Well, that's depressing. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry this isn't MASH for you? Ah, uh, so why don't you take uh, Dude in White, and I'll take Sighton. All right. I see. So your young one has not just been shooting at anything and everything then, Sigurd. Yes. He actually calculated this attack, or so he says. As you can see, no one has died this time either. Sigurd, sir! The collection of the goods and soldiers from the Avet Transport is almost complete. We still can't locate the young master. General Maitreya's platoon will scout around again. Okay. I'm counting on you. Ice Storm Shadow. But we're not counting on Storm Shadow. <laughs> oh, actually, by Storm Shadow, because he's offline now. Yes, sir! Since I'm part of the unit, I'll also excuse myself! So, what happened to this young one you call Master? He fell, under the gr fell into an underground cave with that other guy in a gear. It's near an old excavation site, and is riding in the he is riding in a gear, so he'll probably be able to come up somehow. We'll try and find him for a while, and if that doesn't work, then we'll wait, at, we'll wait for him at our meeting point. Ah, you seem to trust him a lot. Trust him? Yeah, I trust he'll get us into trouble. But I never thought I would meet you here, Hugh. It is not coincidence. It is an inevitable consequence, I assume. Hmm. Yuga, are you saying something about is about to happen? 
Why does he call him Huga? Curious. Hmm. And here we are in the first uh, actual mech dungeon that we get to do. Yes, there are mech sprites. So you get to do this. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, first of all, let's see. Do we have a survival tent? We do have one. So I'm not going to use that. Inner healing. Let's get everybody back up to speed. And now we can actually access the gear menu, which allows us to equip accessories to the gear. Like I said. If you want to avoid things like camera damage, you can put stuff in there <coughs> as well as uh, look at your abilities. So these are the ones that will get amplified. Guided shot and inner healing. Inner healing only restores defense. It actually doesn't heal gears. So the heals are more for when you're a human. And then wild smile, we get access to that ability since we have brigadier. See, we have brigadier. And also, we have a character that has freaking weapons! Yes, uh, uh... Bart actually use. I had to think about his name for a second. Bart actually uses whips in the game. But the other cool part is you can get off. And so here, look at that. We little dots. We're tiny. But we don't want to get out in, in this area. So let's go ahead and get back in. You can even call them in battle. So that's actually a cool part too. It's like, it's very Power Rangers-y. So let's go ahead and get through this dungeon. You didn't save, though. Oh, did I, did I not? Okay. No. Let's take care of that, then. You are too busy playing around. I was too busy playing around. I'm, I'm a kid in a candy store when it comes to this RPG. What can I say? There we go. So, let's go ahead and uh, save it really quick. Yeah. Uh, word to the wise, if you're going to play this on your own, don't max out your volume and then save. <laughs> you will blow out your ears. It's going to happen. The audience is now deaf. deaf. <laughs> they are not only deaf, they are deaf and a half. So those are pretty much like the major question that we got. Like, are you willing to consider other RPGs? And yeah, we are. Don't, don't worry too much about that. Now, people might notice we have a mech and we have little guys. Any, anybody want to take a wager as to what's going to happen to the little guys if I attack them? They're going to counter. How about they're going to go squish? Okay. I thought they're going to like swarm and overwhelm us like ants. Hey guys, do you want to know one of my major complaints about Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles X? Is when you get the mech, you're not super powerful! By the way, look at that ass shot we had. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you'll notice this is like in, in the battle menu, we only get three. And so they will be kind of circled in. And so... Pick your mech wisely, because you're gonna have to you're gonna have to look at that ass for quite a while. <laughs> in in some cases of dungeons, so uh, hope you like it. I don't like this one in particular because he likes to shake his tush all the time. <laughs> there we go. And now we have attack level, so let's just spook this guy. Yeah, our initial attack weakened him. This guy doesn't have a whole lot of HP. But hey, that's okay, because he gives a lot of XP. Already a level up for Bart. Oh, I should figure out what his death blows are, too. I need to see where Bart's at, because he's he's not too far off from Faye. Headhunter, so he only has his first one. Which means he needs to probably get the next level and then he'll get the five point and we can start working on the other ones. Okay. The only downside of doing dungeons and Xenogears is obviously the camera is, is very much your enemy. As you try to figure out where the hell you actually need to go. Oh, hi, save point. Hey, Faye! My senses are responding to something. There appears to be quite a large cavern on the other side of here. Oh, but look at that. If we can get rid of this rock... But I don't think it's possible. Are you kidding me? We're giant freaking robots. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get rid of it. Hey, this is huge. What can we do with this? I doubt you can break it. I guess we could try pushing it. And guys, for the record, as far as I'm concerned, Alex is Bart. I'm just doing this because the only two people who are talking are Faye and Bart. Right. Wait, no matter how you look at it, 
Uh, Bart, could you go help? What the heck you doing? Hurry up and help! <laughs> Too many Christmas. The shaking with Brigadier. <laughs> uh, I'm about to have an accident! Oh, sorry. There you go. <gasps> Bonk. We can get by if we help each other. Let's keep it up so we can get out of here. Ah, the hydromechanic pipe for my knee joint is on the verge of breaking down. It's all because of that fall from the ceiling, followed by pushing this mega-colossal boulder. It won't be funny if my gear malfunctions in a huge cavern like this. And friends won't come and help us? It'd be a waste of time waiting. They probably won't come. But aren't they your friends? We believe in a liberal upbringing. They'll, they'll think that we can escape by ourselves. I wonder if Doc is okay. Doc! <laughs> Don't worry about the man you were with. I'm sure our guy saved him by now. Oh. What is it? Hmm. We wouldn't have fallen in here if you'd only listened to me. Ah, here comes Faye. Here's classic preachy Faye. Don't blame it on me. You should have surrendered instead of challenging me. All he wanted was your gear. Don't be ridiculous. You're the one who blindly attacked me. What else was I supposed to do? I thought if I might die. I thought I might die if I didn't bite you. I was taking it easy on you. Couldn't you tell? You're a bit dense. Don't lie to me. I know you were serious. What? You want some? Let's have it out. Right here. Hmm. Wait, settling it right here comes first. I won't be able to get anything done until we settle this once and for all. I thought you wanted a truce for now. Getting out of here should come out first. Once we're out of here, I'll fight you all you want. But let's hurry up and move on out. I don't think you need to do that. There is a communication system <laughs> yeah, in the Mac. I guess I, I don't know why I felt the need to do that. I don't like you very much. Damn it. I'll get you when we get out of here. All right, so back to controlling, and we actually did see something cool over here. Boom. Yes, you get chests with gold nuggets. Gold nuggets. The cool part is with uh, mech dungeons, you will get a lot of stuff that sells really well. Mainly because you're going to be spending a lot of your money upgrading your Gundam, or your mech in this case. Holy crap. Up you can't level up the mechs. You have to upgrade their parts, and it is the most expensive thing you'll do in the game. That's why grinding is so helpful. Boom. Oh, Medusoids. And they're charging. Now, I'm going to conserve fuel a little bit because in mech dungeons, you never know when you're actually going to get a way to refuel. So the best way to conserve your fuel, use minor attacks all the time until you can get a combo. But even then, keep your combos little. So, like, for this one, I'm not going to use my most powerful thing, because I know it won't be needed. Because, as you can tell, my fuel for Welltall is actually pretty low. And I might actually have to start charging to conserve it. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. Further on into the cavern. Uh, shaky Gundam. That's, that's, what I'm, uh, that's what I'm officially calling Brigadier. Shaky Gundam. Shaky Gundam. He's shaking up real hard right now. Quick, somebody put a, bo a bottle of pop in his hand. You will get fizz, I can guarantee it. <laughs> okay, so next room. Oh, we can hear water. That's the other thing, too, I don't know if you've noticed, but the sound will change depending on your camera view. Oh, yeah. So, That's this, clever. this game had a lot of forethought into it, considering, like, immersion was a big thing here. Oh, and who's this? Uh, actually, why don't you take this one? Of, uh, evacuation on site number eight, gear number three. Uh, tell, tell current situation. Sand sensors have detected an abnormal amount of sand. The sand barrier south of Terra Stones has been sealed to prevent the sa sand from entering excavation site. What's with this gear? It's well maintained for a gear just left lying around like this. Okay, so we can actually talk to him again, and now we can do surrounding area info. 
There is a barrier wall in the southeast of Terra Stones that was built to stop of the shifting sand. Until the barrier reopens, please assemble at the shelter located at the east of the barrier wall. Okay, so that's pretty much all the information we can get out of it. But look for these mechs a lot in Xeno Gears because they are also your kind of merchant slash refuel guys. In fact, I'm a little irritated because he couldn't refuel. Oh boy. No Repair, bad. restore gear HP. Hey! Wow. I wish yep. we should be fighting this guy. <laughs> well, we have to take him out anyway, so, unfortunately. But I think he can only heal us minorly, and he can't give us fuel. So people might be wondering, why did I hit the charge button? Charge is actually a great way to be able to get a, a little amount of fuel uh, back into your uh, into your tank. It only gives you about 30 fuel, so don't be too excited about that, but eventually you might need to conserve. Oh, and look at that. We have a save point. Who'd have thought there would be someone living in a place like this? Let's check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and head over to the save point. Bonk. Let's go ahead and save it. And actually, the next... Uh, the next scene that we have is actually pretty lengthy and we're coming really close to break time. So maybe let's just go ahead and call it here All right. and we'll resume then. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will be back very soon with even more Xeno Gears. Xeno Gears. Welcome back to Xeno Gears, everybody. So we are in this underground cave, the stalactite cave, and we've come across a house in the middle of it. So this is actually where we left off because I knew that we were going to have another uh, talkie portion. So let's go ahead and start things up. I hope everybody's having a good week so far, but let's do this. Uh, first of all, we need to get out of our mechs. We gotta leave our gears here, Alex. We can't fit in there. I wouldn't think so. So let's go ahead and run on in. Now, who could be living in this stalactite cave? So why don't you go ahead and take Bart this time? Hey, hey, this is a, this is a surprise. There's someone living in this place. I'll take him. Hmm. It's been a while, but I thought I could hear the sound of gears. I assume they are yours. Well, anyway, come on back in here and make yourself at home. I'm constantly frowning. I don't know why. <laughs> it's been a long time since my last visitor. What happened? Did you fall from the surface? I guess that's it. Mm, I see. That's too bad. I can tell from the sound that you both ride good gears, but the legs seem to be playing up a bit. You mean you can tell what's wrong just by the sound of its footsteps? Of course I am. Because plot convenience, that's why. <laughs> Don't I look like Elrond from the Lord of the Rings? <laughs> It's easy to know what's wrong with gears by the sounds they make. My guess is that one of them needs a new hydromechanic pipe in its joints. It's making a nasty sound. It must be hard to walk with, too. Oh, by the way, the name's Balthazar, but you can call me Old Man Bal. Oh, yeah? So looks like we've got a real fan... You got a real fantastic... Fanatic. Ah, okay. So looks like we've got a real fantastic here, huh? <laughs> What? Fanatic. Oh, fanatic. fanatic Why do I keep reading yeah. it? I'm tired. Shut up. <laughs> What's an old man like you doing in a place like this? Are you coming on to me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you can call me a fossicker or a collector of things. There is much to be found lying around in this here stalactite cavern. A collector, huh? Sounds interesting. The things on this shelf... Are they some stuff you found? You mean the fossils? They're one of the things I collect. Feel free to have a look at them. Yes, we're only coming in here and now we're getting a tour of the place. Around here you can dig up ancient machines along with human and animal fossils. 
Oh, cute. He's been digging up skulls. Notice anything particular on these shelves. They go from oldest on the left to newest on the right. Are you an archaeologist or something, old man? No, but I probably belong in a museum. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> I don't quite see what you're talking about. They just look like a bunch of old bones to me. Faye, what do you think? Time for Faye to be smart. Let me see. First, there are no human bones up to here. Then from here on over to the right, something is slightly different, I guess. Yes, from a certain point in time, human fossils suddenly no longer appear. That point is roughly 10,000 years ago. What does that mean? Oh, don't ask me. I don't know for sure. But my guess is there were no humans on this planet before then. At least it appears so. How could that be? What about all the talk about evolution? You mean the theory of evolution as taught by the ethos, right? You can't trust that. Rather, I believe in the old legends and myths. Legends? Myths? Of the hidden temple? Exactly. Well, we come across the Shrine of the Silver Monkey now. Oh, and here's another good track in this soundtrack. I love this one. Haven't you heard of this story? Kind of loud. Yes, it is, because because we still have things. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, good. Uh, for a second there, I thought I skipped. I was looking at the wrong uh, window here. Yeah, it's because we were playing Resident Evil, so. They say that humans and God lived together in a paradise in the sky. With God's protection, there was no fear of death, and natural disasters were entirely unknown. Then one day, the humans ate a forbidden fruit, which gave them incredible wisdom. But God drove mankind from the, pot from the paradise for their sin. Bitter at having been driven out of paradise, humans used the wisdom they had gained to make giants. With these giants, they planned to challenge God himself. But God poured his wrath down on them. All who defied God were destroyed. But God himself did not escape unharmed. Taking paradise with him, the wounded God buried himself deep beneath the ocean to sleep for eons. Before going to sleep, God used his remaining power to create right-hearted humans to live on this planet. These people are said to be our ancestors. Well, anyway, I'll stop my rambling now. That's it. That That's like the talkie point. So let's talk to him really quick. By the way, does this cave have an exit? There is an exit in the excavation site beyond the sand barrier. You can get outside through there. Sand barrier? You mean that huge wall you can see from your entrance? Yes, that's it. On the other side is an old Ever excavation site. They built the wall when Ever was ex excavating here to keep the sand from falling in from above. But they've stopped work there now. So how do we open such a huge thing like that? If it's a wall, you could probably break it down. Hold your horses there, young'uns. No matter how good a gear you have, you'll never break that wall down. It's much too strong. So, let's make a deal. A deal? The wall was closed due to the reaction of the sand sensors. Thanks to that, now I can't get through to the other side either. Maybe it happened when you two fell in here. Were you boys fighting up there or something? You seem to be able to tell everything. Anyway, so what can we do about it? Ah, it's very simple. You just have to turn off the sand sensor switches. Doing that will keep the barrier from closing again. While you two are doing that, I'll open it up. Right, got it. The sensors are in two places. You should see their flashing red lights. Well, good luck then. Let's go, Bart. Oh, before you go, I can share some parts and fuel with you. Just talk to me whenever you need something, right? Thanks, old man. Well, 
we'll go out and finish our part of the deal then. Okay, so this is actually what I needed to unlock, so let's talk to old Ben Bell. Now hurry and shut off the sand sensors. Or do you have something else you want to ask? 